How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the House of Horror. And have you ever had a strange feeling walking home alone at night? Whether you're by yourself or with a group, this eerie feeling comes over you. Sort of like you're being watched, followed, or perhaps you hear a faint voice calling out to you seemingly out of the darkness. The Night Whispered preys on that innate fear. The film itself is very short, so I'm gonna keep this review short and sweet. Partly not to get into spoiler territory, and partly because in the amount of time I would end up talking about it, you could probably just watch the film yourself. Our film opens with a group of friends who have unfortunately missed the last tram of the night and are forced to walk home. A mysterious gentleman who has also been left behind by the tram asks if he can tag along with them, and that's about all I can tell you. The film is only about eight minutes long and it gets moving pretty fast, so probably the less said about the plot, the better. Now, you may be already asking yourself, why on earth would these people let this random stranger walk along with them? But hey, he's got a cute dog, so how bad could he be? Oh, look at the puppy. The film keeps you guessing throughout and it's the perfect short film to watch on a cold autumn night. It's a relatively simple story, similar to maybe something you'd read in scary stories to tell in the dark or an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? What I like most about it is that you can just tell how fun it was to shoot. It looks like it was potentially shot all in one night or two, with just a group of friends hanging out having a good time. The film's stars was written and directed by Nicholas Vince. You may know him as the chattering Cenobite from Hellraiser or the beloved moon-faced Kinski from Nightbreed. We all know this dude has some serious acting chops, but how is he from a behind-the-camera perspective? Well, for a directorial debut, I think this is really impressive. The film is very heavy on mood, and Nicholas does a good job of building up the perfect atmosphere. The opening shot in particular shows us the transition from the security of a tranquil and beautiful sunset into the haunting feeling we all get once the sun finally sets and leaves us with nothing but the darkness. His use of music and soundscapes are also incredibly immersive and set the eerie tone quite well. Every year it's a Halloween tradition of ours, instead of watching a movie, some nights we'll just watch seven or eight horror shorts in a row, and The Night Whispered would easily fit into that rotation. I'll provide a link in the description to where you can get yourself a digital download of the film, which also comes with a director's commentary and a behind-the-scenes documentary. I've also had Nicholas on the Two Nerds podcast before, and he gives a ton of behind-the-scenes information not only on The Night Whispered, but of Hellraiser, Nightbreed, and many other projects that he's worked on. So go see The Night Whispered. You'll be happy that you did. And we gotta see that dog again. <laughs> Well, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of The Night Whispered. If you haven't already, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and if you give this video a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. I will see you guys next time with another episode of The House of Horror, so take care and stay spooky.